The Allied invasion of France, codenamed Operation Overlord, started in the very early hours of June 6, when three divisions of American and British paratroopers, including glider-borne troops, were dropped into the area behind the invasion beaches. Anti-aircraft fire caused chaos amongst the transport aircraft, and most troops were misdropped and landed far from their intended drop zones. Units that had trained for many months now found themselves scattered among hedgerows, villages, and marshes, with little cohesion behind enemy lines. In the pre-dawn hours, shortly before the naval forces descended on the Normandy beaches, Allied heavy and medium bombers attacked beach defenses along the coast, trying to soften up the defenses. However, the bombing largely failed in achieving that goal. When dawn finally broke on the 6th, the Allied invasion fleet, some 5,000 ships strong, reached the French coast. Minesweepers cleared a path for the Armada and swept the approaches as battleships, cruisers, and destroyers prepared for a preparatory bombardment. Five warship groups bombarded the German-held coast trying to soften up their defenses. As this was happening, troops loaded into the small landing craft that would bring them to the beaches. As the invasion was unfolding, aircraft from the U.S. 8th and 9th Air Forces along with the British 2nd Tactical Air Force, attacked German artillery batteries, fortifications, as well as railways and airfields to the rear, including any German units moving to reinforce the beach defenses. The Allies established nearly total air superiority over the invasion beaches. The skies were almost entirely devoid of Luftwaffe aircraft during the invasion. Supported by amphibious tanks and artillery fire from warships, U.S. 1st Army landed at Utah and Omaha beaches, while the British 2nd Army landed at Gold and Sword beaches. Canadian troops landed at Juneau Beach. Allied squadrons launched over 14,000 sorties on June 6th, while the Luftwaffe could only launch a little over 300 sorties. The Allies had complete air superiority over the beachhead as the Germans began to hastily pull Luftwaffe units from other air fronts to try and halt the Allies. American units encountered stiff resistance and suffered significant casualties at Omaha Beach, but the capture of Utah Beach was much less contested. British and Canadian forces were also able to capture their sectors, experiencing moderate resistance and casualties. Allied forces began to consolidate the bridgehead and begin their advance inland. German high command was not entirely sure that the Normandy landings was the primary invasion location and thought maybe it was a diversion. This doubt slowed their sending reinforcements to the area. However, German resistance would stiffen as the Allies moved inland to capture their main objectives and pay a heavy price. On June 7th, the British 2nd Army captured Bayeux, but all the attempts of taking the city of Caen, which is one of their early objectives, stalled in heavy fighting. German counterattacks, including the use of panzer divisions, made the advance on Caen very costly. D-Day was a success, but not an easy one. Allied air power would be used to help break out of the beachhead in the coming weeks. Desperate days lie ahead for the Luftwaffe. All right, so we are a part of the group of... Z yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, <laughs> the ZG-141. So uh, we, um, our emblem is a target on Britain. Uh, that's good. We do fly. What planes do we fly? Mostly uh, Yonkers 88 C6s, looks like. So there's 13 of them. And uh, I am the commander. I normally just play as, uh, uh, as a, by appointment for commander, but I, I wanted to try starting off as a commander on this one. So uh, Dieter Vogel, uh, he was a former Lufthansa uh, pilot and... Uh, he became a trainer in the Luftwaffe, and then he decided after his brother was killed to become a combat pilot. And so he uh, is strapping into the Yonkers 88s to do that. So let's take a look at the planning room and see what our first mission is. Attack the beachhead. Surprise, surprise. The allies are attacking, and we are going to try to uh, stop them from attacking. We've got three missions today for attacking the beachhead. Uh, Dieter looks like he is in uh, uh, the first two. So let's take a look at the Yonkers 88 C6, which is a like fighter-bomber configuration. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the D-Day configuration. I don't have my own skin made yet, 
for the Yunkers A88, but I will do that at some point. Uh, right now we're just going to use the D-Day skin. Let's take a look at the modifications that are available. We have additional armor, we'll take that. 20 millimeter uh, gun, 13 millimeter turret, sure we got 10 small 50 kilogram bombs. Um, so let's uh, let's get started. All right, so we will be taking off from our airfield down here at uh, um, Lone Rye. And then we'll be flying up all the way to Caen and uh, attack the beachhead then on, uh, looks like, Juno Beach. And then we'll be flying back down uh, to our airfield again. So, um... Let's let's do it. Let's do it. We should have a fighter escort at uh, number two here. So uh, at Carpe Quay, we'll pick up some fighter escorts. Uh, some heavy clouds, drizzling rain, great. Okay. Uh, attack enemy beachhead area. Attack any enemy unit spotted with a mission point. Okay. Let's do it. All right. We're gonna wait for the green flare, and we are going to take off. There goes the green flare. All right. Let's start throttling up. Let's get, get some uh, left rudder right here to keep us, there we go. Keep us nice and steady. All right. There we go, and lift off. And we are up. Make sure we get a positive rate of climb. Landing gear up. Okay. Let's go ahead and throttle back just a little bit. There we go. Turn RPM down just a little. There we are. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's go ahead and close up our cows just a little bit here. There we go. Let's get those down to about 50% or so. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and climb up to our uh, objective here. Uh, 57 degrees. Better just go ahead and straighten up just a little bit. All right. 1500 meters is our target altitude for the second objective. So let's go ahead and start swinging around to that. All right, very good. I'm going to go ahead and turn cockpit lights on. There we go. See the gauges just a little bit better. Everybody doing good? Yep, we are good. All right, fantastic. We are cruising, looking good. Looking good. All right, what is our target heading? Uh, 143. What? No, that's not right. Wrong one. 333. Okay. There we go. 333. All right, got my buddy Hans in here with me. How we doing, Hans? Got a little herpy on your nose there? What's what's going on? What's that? Just get a little friendly with the ladies last night. For our big mission. Must have. Pretty gross looking. I won't get that checked out when we get back to base. I won't get that checked out. Alright, let's do a steady rate of climb. And uh Everybody will form up with us, and uh, we'll be well on our way. Uh, we've got some guys on the radio calling out air targets. I so far don't see any myself, 
I'm going to go ahead and tell my gunners to be ready. And let's keep an eye out. We should be getting close to where we're picking up our air escort. It is a lousy day for air visibility, though. Um, yeah, we should be getting, getting close to our airfield west of Caen. Uh, Carpiquet, I guess, maybe is what it's called. I don't know. I don't speak French. Uh, then we'll head on up at 12 degrees to attack the Juno Beach. So, what the British designate as Juno Beach. We'll just keep our eyes out. Keep our eyes peeled for enemy targets. It is a dreary, dreary day, for sure. Visibility in this thing is nil. Definitely not good visibility. So hopefully we can uh, get some good strikes on the targets on the beach. Let's take a look at our map and see what the surrounding territory looks like. So there's the, there's the river inlet. So that's what we're seeing there. So we'll be to the west of that quite a bit. Okay. Interesting. Pretty much that we can't see. It's probably about 1230, 1 o'clock from our current heading. So. Should be good. So we should be seeing our fighters take off and rendezvousing with us very soon. There's call. There to our three o'clock. All right, somebody is taking off. So I guess are we gonna orbit while they take off? Or are we gonna? I'm guessing we're heading on to our objective, and they're gonna catch up with us. Hopefully. All right. Sounds good. There they are. Okay. Who's going to be doing our escort? I can't really tell from here. Those are 190s or 109s. I'm going to guess 190s. Hard to say though. Hard to say at this distance. Okay. All right. Let's keep our eyes peeled, guys. ETA about two minutes. ETA about two minutes. Keep our eyes peeled. We'll do a pass, look for enemy targets, and uh, go from there. Hopefully those uh, fighters can keep our sixes clear. I do see some enemy ships out there in the bay. Oh, I see smoke. Something's getting shot down. I don't know what that is. Something just got shot down. Don't know. Don't want any nasty surprises. Uh, Hans, god dang it. Did, did you just fart? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. You're, you're nasty. Good, good god. Oh, ah. Oh. Crack the windows, for goodness sake. I know you're nervous, but that's just uncalled for. Good lord. 
You're, you're messing up the gauges. The magnetic compass is now just going wild because of your disgusting gas. Oh, my God, that's disgusting. Hans, for goodness sake. Eat less sauerkraut before the flight, for goodness sake. My Lord. Can't be having my eyes tear up while I'm trying to spot enemy targets. Jeez. Disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself right now. You're gonna, you're gonna get us all killed. You're gonna get us all killed. Oh, I got contacts. Oh, I got contacts. 12 o'clock high. Just now entering the cloud cover. Can't see them any longer, but they are orbiting, looks like. Don't, could not recognize what they were. We're going to continue on mission. ETA, one minute. ETA, one minute. So let's keep our eyes peeled for enemy fighters. More than likely, they will be RAF. All right, start patrolling for ground targets. All right, fighters are engaging other fighters to the east. Six kilometers. Go get them, little friends. I guess we're going to go for uh, some ships that are coming in. Go get them, guys. I hope you can see them better than I can. I'm not seeing Jack. Not seeing Jack. Okay. In fact, I don't see too many targets in the water. Oh, there they are. I see them now. There's some. Okay. Well. About time to uh, do our duty. There's some right there. Okay. Open the bomb bay doors. I'm going to tell everybody to attack nearest ground target. going to go down and strafe and bomb. I'm thinking these guys right here to our left. There's a big destroyer right there. I might go after him. Alright. Let's do it. Got ten little bombs. I could strafe the uh, the landing boats with my cannons if need be but I want to get that destroyer out if I can so I'm going to go for him I'm going to go for him any other destroyers around? there's another destroyer I could go for I think I'm going to go for this guy he's off on his own here okay Go. We're going to get on him. We're going to get on him, boys. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled. The fighters. They're not going to be happy with us. Okay. This guy's closer. He's closer. Yeah, we'll get him. Still no fighters spotted currently. Ok. 
Okay. There we go. Hope you gunners have got your eyes open. Oh, I see something out there. Who's that? That looks like a spit to me. Looks like a spit. Alright. There we go. Getting our bombing run. I hope you guys are looking for that spit. I hear something. Oh, we're steady. Oh, we're steady, Dieter. Come on. All right. I can see below me. Alright, push it over. There we go. Oh my god, this thing handles like a freaking boat. It handles like the boats on the bomb. Bombs away. Bomb bay closed. No idea what I hit, if anything. Let's see if I can circle around. Get a glimpse. Our target. Looks like I might get some hits. Alright, cool. See if we can strafe some of these landing boats. Okay. That's pretty good. These big boats, are they landing like armor? They're shooting. They're shooting back. Boy, oh, shoot me. Yo. oh, my God. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, man, that hurt. That hurt. Let's get out of here. By a fire? No, we're good. Both engines are damaged, though. We are egressing. We are egressing. Okay. See enemy contacts. 
possible enemy contacts. Somebody else smoking. Be friendly. Hello. Can't tell. Not to mention my vision's all fogged up from my injuries. Ugh, can't see anything. All right, we're heading south. South for the winter. If we have to bail out, we will. Oh boy. I don't think those are friendly. All right, let's get out of here. Orders, turn base. You like me. Everybody form up. Let's get out of here. We can. We can survive. Don't sound good. That's for sure. At least we're over friendly territory. Should be able to get back home, I hope. My vision's a little blurry, got some slight wounds. Not feeling too hot. Oh man, my vision's all jacked. Okay. I can just get home. I mean, we'll be good. Get out of the danger zone. Okay, all right. Got a Gleaves class destroyer. Nice. Fantastic. And four AAA guns. Maybe they were on the on the destroyer. I don't know. But uh, we're heading out. Let's get contact. Can't tell friend or foe. They're running parallel to us. I'm guessing friend, but don't know that. How we look on the back gunners? Lost that contact. Lost that contact. There he is. Got him. What's he doing? Looks like it might be a dog fight. I see two contacts. That's fine. We're, we're running. We're just making a run for it. I'm not going to engage. Leaking fuel pretty badly. And coolant looks like in our number two engine. Okay. Dieter is wounded slightly. Slightly wounded. Let's uh, take a look at what we got here for coolant. Still looking okay at the moment, but when that coolant runs out, we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cows just a little. Just to add a little extra coolant from air. A little air cool, cooling. All right. Yeah, engines do not sound good. Number two engine especially. But we're running fine at the moment, so. Let's just keep going. All right, I am thinking that um, that we may just uh, land at this other airfield just because uh, we're not doing too good. Not doing too good. That engine is really making some racket. So I'm thinking I might try to come over here and land this airfield. I don't want to bail out, so I'd much rather land if we can. Bro, what are you doing? How's he going? Might have these guys return to base. I won't 
won't, it won't let me. Return to our mission. Hey, look, look, they're mostly intact. I guess one of them just went down. I don't know what he was doing. Did he crash? I don't know. I gotta go, uh, I gotta go land. I'm not gonna be able to make it back home. I'm not gonna be able to make it back home, so. I'm about to land at this airfield here. Is that it? There it is, okay. Got eyes on it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my landing lights. We'll come in on that main runway. See if we can get landed. That's because, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna make it home. We're not gonna make it home. Looks like somebody may be on the runway currently. All right, they just taxied off. Yep, I'm just I'm hearing all kinds of racket here. Not good. Not good at all. You guys are gonna have to clear off. I got an emergency landing here. Emergency landing, guys. Emergency landing. Okay. Flaps released. Rattle back. Gear down. Pitch down. up a little bit. Okay. And let's come in for a landing. Let's put this bird on the ground before she falls down. Let's set her down before she falls down. We're setting her down. Sorry, Willem. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait. Crippled bird coming in. I hear you coming in over me. Bro. Wave off. Wave off. Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> They're so confused. They're like, what are you doing? I'm landing. Buffoons. This thing's about to fall down. I'm setting this bird down. She's in bad shape. It's not our airfield. I know that. Yes, thank you. Einstein. Einstein. All right. There we go. Let's slow her on down.
Uh, we did get uh, one destroyer, so that's good. Let's see what we got here. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Uh, enemy B-26 destroyed. Oh. Friendly, uh, enemy P-47 destroyed. Uh, 109 was shot down. Okay. I may not be able to do that second mission since uh, I had to do an emergency landing. And I've been wounded, so. Got the wound badge in black. All right. So we won't be doing that next mission. Uh, we lost two planes in that. I'm the only one that got anything. Everybody else missed everything. <laughs> so. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.